Now in this video we will study about group selection. Now we have already seen this diagram that is hoisting assembly and we know how the rope performs a very important role here to lift the load. Now these things we are going to see it in detail again as a theory part. In case of a lifting medium or in case of any hoisting device whatever we have seen in the diagram we know that we use chain fiber or wire ropes now in our case we have focused on wire ropes so in this hoisting mechanism we are going to use a wire rope as a lifting medium next we have now what it consists now it consists of several strands so remember this word strands it is actually twisting twisted portion i will see it in detail after this so it is a combination of strands now here what is meaning of a strand actually the strand is made up of a metal wires a small metal wires and it looks like helix it is made up of like a helix or helical shape now what is the use of this metal wire Now, if you'll use a metal wire, here, number one thing, the abrasion resistance increases with the fever one inside and the louder at the outside wire per strand. And that is why we use metal wires instead of a normal fiber or plastic wires in case of hoisting mechanism. Those are specially included in our syllabus. So we will see one by one what is it now why we are going to use it wire rope over chain now why do why, why can't we go for chain now for that if we compare it if we compare chain and metal wire the metal wire has a lighter weight than chain next related to the damage damage to the jerk now if we'll check for a chain the sudden jerk comes the chain may break but if we'll check for a wire rope then if we'll compare it the wire rope will survive more than the chain next we have silent operation now as we know in case if we'll check for a chain then the chain has a uh, chain has a little bit noisy operation and that is reduced by the wire rope after that we have reliability now if we we'll compare with the chain and wire rope the wire rope has a little bit greater reliability than a chain so that is why in case of hoisting mechanism we use wire rope metal wire rope instead of a simple chain now what are the advantages again we will get few more points in it how do we manufacture it now these wire ropes are manufactured from the steel wires remember about the strength now it has ultimate strength from 1600 to 2000 newton per mm square it is manufactured from steel wire and in the process of manufacturing the wire is subjected to special heat treatment the process of heat treatment which is combined with cold drawing and because of this it gets high mechanical properties so that is why we use this wire ropes which has a greater strength now next as we have already known about this strand we'll see about as this is a general structure of a rope now if we check it there are three main parts in it number one is core number second is strand and number three is wire now if we check it somewhere here in between of it there is a core part that is the center part so that is called as a core second if we check it there are twisted wires in it if we check it here after opening any rope you will come to know that there are easily separated parts so those are called as strands so these are called as strands and in 
each strand here you can see the combination of o wire so there is a core between the row after that we have number of strands and after that we have number of wires in each strand so after this we are going to see types of ropes now in our syllabus there are three types of ropes that we are going to use it number one it is six by seven number two it is six by nineteen number three is six by thirty seven now what it shows now six shows number of strands and seven shows number of wires in each strand similarly here six shows the first digit shows number of strands in each row and second digit shows number of wires in each strand so here we have six strands and 19 wires in each strand here we have six strands in each row and 37 wires 37 wires in each strand now that is why this 6 by 37 this is one of the most suitable rope or this is one of the most strengthened rope comparatively with other two because here we have 37 wires in each strand but still if we'll compare it now here for the 6 by 7 one it is made up of heavy wires because here we have lesser strands and it provides maximum resistance to wear and vibration if we'll go for 6 by 90 then it has good compromise between flexible and wear and it is almost widely used if we'll go with the next one third one 6 by 37 so here this rope it is extra flexible when you are checking for abrasion and wear and not severe and it has a relatively sharp bend capacity that can be tolerated so we haven't seen yet what is meaning of a bend that we'll see it later so just remember the word bend here the bend part now if we we'll compare with all these three ropes you'll come to know that 6 by 37 it can be used most commonly now if we we'll check for the cross section we will take cross section of a rope so here we have two ropes one is 6 by 7 and one is 6 by 19 now if we we'll check it here this is our first second third fourth fifth sixth so here we have six strands and in each strand there should be seven wires as per the formula so here it is one two three four five six and seven so there are seven wires in each strand so what formula shows is that there are six strands in each row and there are seven wires in each strand now if we check it this this region this is the region of core similarly here 6 by 19 you can see there are six strands and in each and every strand we have 19 wires so this is the method of representing any row now as per the construction we have different types of uh, ropes so if you we'll check it here we have a b c now if you we'll observe it carefully you will come to know that there is a smaller difference in between now here the lines are vertical here the lines are horizontal and here it is a mixture of both so that is why as you can simply understand the first one in this we have parallel lines so that is why it is type of parallel here in the second one we have cross lines and in case of c it is a composite the cross plus parallel so it is a mixture of both one so these are the types of rope as per the construction thank you very much